dinner time. The lady, they told me to sit with the lady because she got Parkinson's. She shake real bad. So they was like, go ahead and give her this drink. Like, you got to sit next to her give her the drink. <laughs> this, I was not, I'm just sitting there. Mind you, I'm kind of tired. I'm exhausted. So I'm just sitting there giving her the drink. Next thing I know, this lady smacked me. Like, really, <laughs> or she smacked the dog shit out of me. Like, she wanted all the smoke with me, yo. I'm telling you. Like, she smacked me so hard and then took, snatched the milk out my hand and threw it at me. <laughs> I jumped up but so you fast. Now I was just like I wasn't expecting it. nobody told me that's that's how she was. Like they normally tell oh she got behaviors or they got behaviors stay away. They didn't tell me I wasn't expecting time was super I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she hurt? This bit. She smacked the fire out of my face. Yeah, I'm saying that's the hardest. That that's she she ever one of the hit. hardest hits I ever experienced <laughs> in my life. You know when they retarded, they got the retarded strength. Yeah, I don't that's know what I would have did. <laughs> it's real. Like, she smacked the dog shit out of me. It was like a bitch on the street. I couldn't believe it. Like for real, mm. it was horrible. She threw milk at me. Then this one lady. Then what? Did you go home? Yeah, well, I got up and I told the nurse they better come get her. That she lucky a resident. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I told him. You lucky this bitch a resident. And like, I was not playing. I was mad. Then oh, no. This guy pissed in a urinal all night and then threw it on one of my coworkers. Threw piss all on my coworker at like 5 o'clock in the morning. I went home. Did she oh, go home? He went home. Yeah. yeah, he went home. But oh, he, oh hell down. no. I definitely would have been crying if somebody threw some piss on me. <laughs> like, <laughs> seriously. It's not. I would have gotten a shower, went home, butt naked, <laughs> with a towel around me. <laughs> <laughs> One of them bad blankets. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not like that every nurse home. I'm like I said, I'm I travel so they send us to like places that is really hard to be stabbed because the behaviors are just the type of place it is. So it's regular nurse home, they got dementia and stuff like that, little behaviors. But this nursing home is like serial killers and schizophrenics no, and Oh hell no. Yeah, they had serial killers there, they had child rapists there that went to jail and got beat up real bad that they're child like now and they got a uh, mind like a child. And I was telling her there was this guy there that his wife just lied on him and said that he was beating up on her and they sent him to jail. He got gang raped and he got beat so bad, messed his brain up that he literally asked maybe like a six month old child. Like the noises, the 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 clapping, the the way he eats, everything is like a kid, like a like mm. a, a infant, a baby. Wow. There's another guy that was like he was raping his daughter or something like that, I think. And they he went to jail and they beat him real, real bad. So he he act like a five year old, like he followed her around asking for juice and he wants to go outside and play and stuff like that. So, mind you, these are grown people. Like I'm talking sixty plus. Have you ever took him outside to play? He allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> they allowed to. Play. They allowed to go smoke and trip, but did. I never did it. I never. They took him on brand virus and stuff like that activities, but teenagers don't do that. They shouldn't take him after they raping people. Yeah, but he. Now that his brain is all effed up, he don't know about, like, he don't remember none of that. He don't know none of that. He, don't, he got a brain like a kid. Like, his life started over at five or something. So, so is he getting older in the brain? Uh. <laughs> He's going to be like that all his life. I have seen some stuff. This one lady, this is my favorite resident, but it's so, she was my favorite resident. But it's so crazy because you meet her, you would never think, like, she's just normal. Then I'd be like, what's she here for? They said, oh, um... I guess she was schizophrenic or something and stopped taking her meds and had chased her neighbor with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> what? And I'm telling you, like, this lady is like your average grandma. I'm like, bake cookies and shit. You would never, you would never guess, like, she would do something like that. And they, I was like, what? But you know, when they got mental illnesses and they stopped taking done. her meds. Yeah, I'm there for You got more black and red shit than other ones? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have more. I got one of them. Really? Hey, mom, that shit's late. No, no, one thing left. I got some stupid. That um, strawberry cheesecake, though. That's it jumping, good. right? Mm-hmm. I know. I still got a piece in here. I'm going to say. But that was good. Can we talk about double standards for a minute? Because I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but actually, when we was in a car, she brought up a good point. Yeah. I want to just bring up how people feel like they. <laughs> Shut up, yo. I just want to bring up how people can feel like they can tell people like when they can move on. So, just not getting too far into my personal life, but I was dealing with this guy. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my God. For two what years. <laughs> for two years. And he was shitting on me. And <laughs> oh, my God. Shut up. Yeah, no, they laughing because they know him. But whatever. He was shitting on me. Yeah. Everybody knew. Well, I don't know if everybody knew, but... 
you know, he was doing what he was doing. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about it. I found out weeks after the fact that he was cheating on me. And I, okay, so I fucked with him. So a month later, I ended up getting back with my ex. Now I got this boy named Tad on me. That's really like the love of my life. I love every, his whole life. Like, he fine as fuck. Like, <laughs> he just, I just love him. Like, so I got back with him. So my ex called me the mind just the one that was cheating on me and had been cheating on me for weeks. He called me like, Oh, congratulations, you're finally back where you wanna be And then I seen people talking about, Well, you moved on too fast. I just wanna know how you gonna tell somebody how long it, they should take to move on. Y'all did the same thing with Queen. Y'all said that she moved on too fast with the <laughs> Chris. Like, I really wanna know. Like, how who are y'all to tell somebody how fast they should move on? How is it too fast, especially when men Comment down below and let down. I wanna know. Yeah. I wanna know. Like I'm <laughs> I need answers. I really wanna know. Like niggas be out here messing with the next bitch the minute you send a text and you done with them. And then mm. when a female move on a month later, y'all saying that she moved on too fast. How? I always felt like that though, like it was a, a double standard. But like at the end of the day, everybody heals differently. Okay. Yeah. And then if you're constantly knowing that you're like being cheated on, I feel like your mind is not like all the way there in a relationship. So once it's finally all said and done, like it's not like you're shocked or anything like that. You're not even hurt by it because you felt like you know, like you pretty much like I want to say. um how do they say it? Like, when you're basically, like, used to something, like, immune to it. Yeah. But it's kind of like, you know, like, once it's all said and done, it's kind of like, it is what it is. I'm glad I was out of that toxic relationship or whatever the case may be. And I feel like it's just easier for you to feel like you can move on. Have you talked to him? With stuff like that. My ex? Mm -hmm. I mean, he, after the situation happened, he hit me up a couple times with the same old sorry ass story that every nigga hit you with. You never know what you have until it's going. I'm sorry I hurt you and I didn't mean it and all that, but at first I was bitter as fuck. Like, I actually can tell you uh, I was, this, yeah. a bitch had everything negative to say in a book, but now I just feel like, you know, it wasn't mm. meant to be and I wish you nothing but the best. If you see this I wish you nothing but the best. I wouldn't want nothing bad to happen to you or nothing. We just didn't work out mm. and, you know, I don't feel no type of way no more. It is what it is. Your apology is accepted but I don't know I just what do I say I was bitter oh my god it was horrible like I always said something like fuck him lame ass nigga mm -hmm. the I memes was, and stuff on Facebook I shared <laughs> everything she was really sharing how Yo, she felt okay it was a mess it, you could tell I was hurt mm -hmm. but I don't like, care no more. It's been like, what, seven seven months now? Mm -hmm. it, it is what it is. It's just didn't work out. But I wish him the best. Was you still on, was y'all still friends on Facebook when you were sharing those memes and stuff? We were for, <laughs> so I felt kind of like, <laughs> so this is a little bit timeline. We got into it. He, <laughs> he, he <laughs> quote unquote <laughs> separate. We quote unquote separate. Yeah. Yeah, let him tell it. He was yeah. messing with the girl, whatever. And I found out maybe. I think I found out a week after, but the girl had told me that they had already been talking for weeks prior. So, after that, I said what I said to him, and then we exchanged some words in the inbox and moved out of, he moved out, or whatever the case may be. And then, he kept saying he was sorry, and then I shared, like, she said I was being bitter, mm -hmm. <laughs> sharing a bunch of stuff. And I think after a while, he was just like, you know, like, why does she, you know, sharing that? Like, I know I fucked up. Because he was saying sorry. Like, he was being a man about his shit. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I messed up. I know that I messed up. Like, if you don't want to give me another chance, I understand. But he took res full responsibility, but I wasn't trying. I didn't care because I felt like I was so good to you. Why All right, finish what you're saying. So, now, I'm, now I'm not. I'm, all I can say, I was really hurt at it, I mean, thinking back on it, it hurt a little bit still, like, damn, because how, it's not just the situation with him, it's just looking like, how could somebody messed up a bond that y'all had so deep? How could somebody do you like that when you're so good that I'm like, I'm not going to go into detail of how good I was to him, but people that know us know how I was rocking for him. And it was just like, it was one of the relationships where everybody would be like, oh, you shouldn't be with him, or why you keep putting up with this, you deserve better. And I would be like, man, fuck you, like, that's my nigga at the end of the day. Like, I don't care what you got to say. It was like me and him against the world. And he did me dirty, so that shit hurt, but... It's life. Move on from it. I don't. At this point, I don't care. I wish him the best, and that's pretty much it. I don't talk negatively about him no more. So, what is the question that you want the people to answer? How do y'all feel like y'all can tell people when is the appropriate time to move on? I already yeah. said that. Like, okay, yeah, and like, I feel also, like the appropriate time to move on is the next day. Say no. <laughs> 
It now, took me what? It took I don't know how long it took me to move on. It took you a little minute. It took me a minute mm-hmm. to move on. But I feel like it took me a long time to get over and break up with him. Yeah. And even though he was cheating, I Remember? still was messing with him. When you used but to like, call me, I used to threaten Keith like Kiana, if you take him back or talk to you, don't call me. I don't want to talk to you. Like <laughs> But like yeah, she said, she's trying but ass. No. Mm-hmm. But like but she my says, mom the, it was my mom and her. She liked him mm-hmm. and then he was like he was like a best friend. He was a part of the family. That's why I think yeah, it took no, me that be the worst. Oh, yeah. oh speaking of like that. That's why it took me so long to get over him. Like, when they get into the family. But like, yes, my family, oh my god, like my grandma, she passed away, but she loved him. Like she, he was in her obituary thing and everything. Oh, whoa. But my sister asked about him. <laughs> my I uh, now my sister asked mm-hmm. about him. Like it was like, but they don't well, like him no going. more. Yeah. They, mm-hmm. they can't stand him no more. Honestly, don't say that. You wonder why he watching it. I don't care. I need them to know. They don't like you. <laughs> That's how you did me. But it definitely is. Like, you still are cousin, but they don't like you. Like, it's a, it's a double standard it's thing because. People think that men can just move on fast, like and women, and I guess we can't. So mm-hmm. that's what she was basically saying. Like it's definitely like a double standard. Ladies, how long do you feel like as a woman it yes. should take you to move on? I want to know. Please, from, like, yeah, I don't know. Dom, you Honestly, need your own YouTube channel. I maybe I do. Yes. Do. I don't care how you men feel. I really don't. I feel like <laughs> fuck y'all. Y'all opinion is irrelevant. I want to know from the woman how long do you think it should really take a woman to move on to be like okay? But like she said, my head took, was already maybe, out the relationship I feel like before maybe I found out he was cheating. Four months. Four Damn. months. Yeah, that was like my. My, but I feel like if you jump into something fast, then like your work. problems is gonna go with with, the, with your other relationship. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Like I, I feel like I wish I knew how to answer that. But this is like the most like longest serious relationship I ever been in. So I don't know. She got herself the real deal. Like I really don't know how I would feel. Like how I would feel. Like if me and him broke up, like how long it would take me? Cause Key, you know, like when we was in high school, you'd be like, "Oh, Ash, you need a man." I was just like, "I don't need no man." Like I felt bitter. Like mm-hmm. I didn't want a boyfriend, no, none of that. So I don't know. <laughs> I say four months or maybe a year. Yeah. To to That's heal yourself, mm-hmm. cause then if you gotta learn, get to know who you are. That's my problem. I'm trying to get to know who I am. Yeah, I feel like we all trying trying to do that right now, cause we young. Yeah. And everybody be telling me that they be like, go out, experience, do this, do that, until you find yourself. And I just feel like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I question myself all the time, like, who am I? Like, what type of person am I? Like, I always do, which yeah. is weird. That's why I've been trying. I wanted to get this book. It's like, you're a badass at something. I wanted to get this book from Target. It's yeah. like by learn about learning yourself. I was looking up some things online, but then I never went through with it but yeah mm-hmm. I got some growing to do overall as a woman I'm 22 I feel like I got so much more to learn I'm trying to work on my temper cause whoo child yeah I was about to <laughs> this say this is a mess <laughs> I worked on mine a lot but yeah like she said I'm still trying to figure myself out and yeah you I think, think I got my my guy for life there I've been had him I just fucked it up before but but you know what? I always say that. Okay, let's end sh- this video. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I shouldn't talk. I shouldn't talk about that. Yeah, I will talk so, about that with y'all later. <laughs> answer the question that I wanted y'all to know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if y'all want to see more videos with Ashley and Dom. Comment down below. <laughs> I'm doing more videos. Right. And tell me about y'all working as a CNA. If y'all are a CNAs or y'all about to be CNAs, if y'all got some questions. You can write them down below and we might answer them. So, bye.